Hello gods and welcome to part one of extending the third person character project that comes with the default Unreal Engine 4 installation. This tutorial will cover creating a simple character status component that we will extend in future tutorial videos. This component will add the concept for the character to have health, regeneration, and resistance, or armor. This component will be attached to your third person character blueprint and can always be referenced through your third person character blueprint. Let's get started. Right click and create new blueprint class and select actor component. Name the component character status component and open your third person character. In the upper left, click Add Component and search for your character status component, which will now add it to your third person character as a component or child uh, as you can consider it. We'll now minimize this and go back to our editor and we'll now open the new component that we just created called Character Status Component. And first we'll want to start by creating our variables, which we know right now most of them will be afloat. And we'll start with our current health. Add another variable, and our cursor is already selected in it. And we also already know it's afloat because that was the last variable. And we're going to want to create a couple of floats here, so we'll just keep going. We'll want current max health. Add another variable and put max health. We want two of these just in case we have any abilities or the ability to uh, go over the max health by uh, temporary status or anything. We can always revert back to the max health once the effect is over. We'll add another variable for uh, physical resistance. We could also consider this armor and magical resistance. We're gonna put a magical resistance in this just because for this survival game that we're doing for this tutorial, we're gonna have the concept of uh, two different kinds of damage for the example purpose. Uh, you'll also want the regen amount, which is the re regeneration amount that will happen per tick. Uh, and our per tick will be regen tick time. And this will be how often regeneration amount should tick. So if we have this set to one health, uh, it will, and this set to five, it will regen one health every five seconds. And you'll see that as we fill in the other variables here. And then we also want one more variable called is dead. And we'll change this to a Boolean value. Uh, and that will help us uh, in the future check whether or not the character is actually dead rather than just checking if current health is less than zero every time. Uh, and so uh, now we'll create some functionality to basically uh, keep those rules defined, right? So let's go ahead and create a function and call it check status. We'll drag the current health out and we'll get the get current health. We'll drag out from the get current health and we'll have a less than, whoops, less than equal to zero. If that is true, and we'll call a branch from that and combine this execute. If the current health is less than zero, then that would be true. Then that would mean that the character is dead. So we'll pull is dead out and put set, come up to true and mark it as true. And then if it's false, we'll keep going, but we'll also want to check if the current health is not greater than uh, our current max health, so we'll drag a get off 
from the current max health and drag it into here. We'll then drag off another branch statement from this new condition, put it in here. And then if this is true, we will always just want to set the current health to the current max health. And that's it. So this is very simple right now, but basically we're checking if the current health is less than or equal to zero, you'll be flagged as dead. If your current health is, uh, if your current health is greater than the current max health, then you will be set to the current max health. Uh, we'll come back and use this function next. So now let's go into um the, the the begin play event on the character status component and we'll want to create the regen timer tick now by creating a uh timer function set timer by function name and we'll grab the regen tick time value and put it into the time. We'll want to make sure this loops and we'll call this regener oops regeneration tick. And then we'll want to make sure we select and copy this because we are going to create a function with that exact name. So we'll paste it in here, regeneration tick and hit enter. And now we can take our, well, first we want to check if the character is dead, right? So we'll get is dead and draw a branch from that. If the character is dead, we'll do nothing. So we'll just return. But if the character isn't dead, then we'll take the current health and we'll add the regen amount. So do current health, add float regen amount and then we'll set that to the current health and now we have regeneration we need to set the default values for the variables we created so we'll come in here starting health will be a hundred the current max health will be a hundred and then the max health will be a hundred the resistance can be left as zero and same with the magical the regen amount can be set to one, and then the regen tick will be set to five. So every five seconds we'll regenerate one health and we'll set it unless the character is dead. And then we also want to make sure that we don't regen past the current health, right? So we'll put in our call for our check status function. And now after this is done, We'll call to this and we'll check to make sure that our current status, our current health isn't more than our max health. And that's all it takes to create a simple character status component that we will extend in future tutorials. The next tutorial will be on applying damage and damage type. Hope to see you then. Have a good one.